Hello and welcome back everyone to some more Spyro 3. So today we're going to get on the Whirly Gig. We're going to go to, not Buzz's Dungeon, Evening Lake. Now if I remember correctly, Evening Lake is actually my favourite one. I remember it being my favourite one as a kid. And it may still be my favourite one, but I guess we'll find out. But as I recall it, we've got another boss coming up. Spike's Arena, so let's go and face Spike. My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight. Will do, Sergeant Bird. Alright, so... Oh, God. Now, I don't remember exactly what you have to do. I'm guessing that you just throw these things at him. And you got to be kind of careful because he will do that. At very awkward fucking times as well. Well, oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Careful now. I'm going to go to the next one. Fuck it. Don't have time. Alright, come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. I need a sheep. I need a sheep of some sort. This is hard. Fuck you, you bastard. Oh, that's typical. I think he does like a more special attack or something now. Or, oh, okay, then he just does three of them, but that works. Oh, watch out. Watch out. There you go, you bastard. Okay, so we get extra flame things. That's pretty cool. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, after many fucking tries, I think I've finally got down what I'm supposed to do to defeat this guy. He does about... Alright, he does four now. Okay, he did three. And then you just gotta get one of these... Oh, what? Four, four, four. Get whatever the fuck this is. I don't even know what this does. Oh, okay. Okay, so I've got no sheep around whatsoever. I don't even know what he's gonna do with that. Oh my fucking god. No, 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 don't kill me. Fuck you. Okay, come on, one more, one more. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Alright, come on, one more, one more, one more. I need this, I need this. Run! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, there you go, you son of a bitch. At fucking last, Jesus Christ. Took me like 10 tries to try and get that bastard down. Son of a bitch. Now what? Alright, back on the Wally gig. We're off to Evening Lake. Listen to me, dragon. Spyro. This is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it! Just go! What, you actually think that you care about me? Ah, <laughs> bullshit! You've hated me this entire game, I know you have. Alright, I need to get some fucking frogs or some sheep or something because this is driving me crazy. I hate having to get gems on my own. Where the hell is Sparks? I'm lazy, man. I'm a lazy son of a bitch. I think this is the one that takes you to the last world right here. Yep, we go to Rocket Viewers. <laughs> oh, yes. So that should be rather exciting and something to look forward to. Alright, get the, that and that and, uh, and these as well. You know what? I'm going to... No, you know what? I'll do it next time. I was going to say, I'll go back to the last two worlds and do Sparks', le Sparks level so that we can get some extra abilities for Sparks. But I, I guess I can do that in the next episode. So we won't actually be starting Evening Lake like the rest of these uh, like the rest of these levels here. Like, lo like the rest of the worlds that I've done. Just simply because we haven't done Sparks' levels yet. And if you leave them right to the end of the game, they just, they're kind of pointless to get. So I might as well do them sooner rather than later. So... I'm going to be doing all Sparks' levels in the past two worlds. I'll be doing them next time. But for now... Hi again, Spyro. This power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. Alright then. Yeah, but for now we're just going to... All we're going to do is just explore this place. And find out what the hell's going on in this place. Stuart! 
I actually really like the name Stuart. I don't know why. That that kind of looked like it was spelt wrong for some reason, but I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, it's probably spelt correctly, but I deserve a life like that. I mean, I spent so many lives trying to defeat that fucking spike boss. That was unbelievable. All right, I think that's all the gems. Oh, by the way, in that uh, Uncharted Towers level, I actually did find out what the last couple of gems were. They were in that skate park in the uh, Triple Towers bit. So what you got to do is like the bit I couldn't get up to before. That's that's where you need to go. So if you go back to that video and you see like those three towers that you got got to jump across, they both they all have like boxes and metal crates and stuff on them. So you have to sort of like I don't know, get up there and then you can oh we're back here. Yeah, you get up there and then you can get the other crates and the uh, and the the metal containers there which contain the last couple of gems in that level and then that's all the gems in that level so that level will be complete and you can carry on about your way I'm not sure where this leads I think it leads to another portal oh new character <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here it took two dozen rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap a thousand gems, you son of a- Alright, I'll pay it. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Uh How do I care? It's mine now. Fuck you. It actually is lying around on the ground. I can't even read what that says. The first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <coughs> <coughs> One more, perhaps? At least. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Bentley's outpost, all right. So we've unlocked Bentley now. He's another new character. He's like an abominable snowman. He's the one I was telling you about previously. And then all we've got after him is to unlock one last character. But I think that to me, I don't know, I really like Bentley. Because he's actually a really an amazing character. Because, he, I don't know, like, the way his actions go, he's got, he's got a couple of brilliant attacks. So, but yeah, most of the portals in this world you'll find are actually underneath the water. So... We've got this one here, which is like a B, a B speedway thing, which is kind of like the the butterfly one that we did in the first world, but it's with bees instead. This one's Charmed Ridge there. We won't be going into that until much later. I'm gonna try and do all the ones on the surface world first, and then we'll come back and do all the ones underwater because most of them will be underwater anyway. But I think there's like one portal that's that's on top here. But oh, and there's another thing that we've got to do in a second. To it's a little bit tricky, but. It's the way you get a certain egg, and it involves a certain whale, if you know what I mean, viewers. If you don't, you'll, you'll find out in a second. I'll show you in a minute. That one up there is actually the, another skate park level in there somewhere, but instead of it being an actual skate park, I think it's more of a race, and I believe this is a secret passageway. Oh, what do you know about that? This is like one of the reasons it's one of my favorite levels, is because... That, like in this home world there's so much secret stuff that you just got to find out for yourself that you don't actually know what the hell's going on so I kind of like it as much as I don't like swimming underneath the water in Spyro games because I find it's really awkward but it is really really cool this home world because it's like all the secret stuff I really like all the secret stuff in games because it, it makes the game more worthwhile I believe well, I think, anyway. I don't know about you guys, but... And I was thinking, like, do I have to go in that ship for some more gems? I was like, no, that's a level. It may be either that one with the little sparkles up there that's the skate thing, or it's that one. I can't remember exactly which one, because usually I get it wrong. So don't don't go by my word on that. Alright, I think... I think we should 
be close to getting all these gems here now. Alright, so this one... There you go, there's the last egg. Alright, maybe it's not the last egg then. Oh, I see a couple more gems that I've probably missed. Alright, get these get these gems here. See, underwater bit is a little bit tricky because you may have missed stuff that you don't really realise until a bit later. Alright, let's have a quick look around. Let's go underneath here. Oh, look, wait, there's one, there's one. You never know what you might be missing, viewers. You never know. Alright, well, I think there is one more place that we probably missed. But I can't remember. Oh, wait, what's this place? Did we go in here? Oh, okay, this is just another entrance way here. Alright, let's search on top of the ship here. Nothing? Okay, alright, let me just check the atlas and we'll see what we're missing here. Okay, so glide to the tower. So we've almost got all the gems as well. Okay, glide to the tower. I think I know where I'm missing, so I'll go there right now. I need to get back up to the surface. Where is the land here? Maybe this bit? Did it come to the right part? I don't think I've gotten to the right part. I don't actually know where the sparks level is on this one either. It's somewhere around here, but... It's somewhere on the surface, I know that much, but I don't know exactly where. Ah, here we go, alright. I don't think you can actually glide up there. You can't climb to that ladder there without getting on this, because you actually do have to glide. You can't, like, jump out of the water, because that doesn't work. So you only just make it by, by gliding there as well, so... Ah, here we go, there's the sparks level. Alright, so we are actually missing a little bit of eggs here, which is glide to the tower, which I think is over here. And there you go. Alright, well that's the last egg, so I've obviously missed out on a gem or two here and there, so... I'm probably going to go and look for them. How many am I actually missing, I wonder? Five. Wow, that's probably just one singular gem. Well, I'm sure that you guys will probably be able to find it out for yourselves, so I'm not really going to waste time showing you that. So I'm going to end the episode here, and next time we'll be going to find Sparks... Well, we'll be going to do the previous two Sparks levels in his worlds and stuff like that, so that we can get a couple more abilities for Sparks on our journeys. And then we'll continue with Evening Lakes levels, and we'll be back shortly. So, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave the video a like. And that would really help me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I shall see you all next time. So, other than that, all this has to say for me is, hope you're all having a great day and farewell.